Welcome on in, everyone, to another night of D&D &D Monday. It is Demon Sardis here. How y'all doing? I am here to finish off the one-shot of Jack-O-Lantern. So, welcome in, everyone that is sitting here on the stream. Good luck with the catches. For the Mark Crow. So... Yes, yes. Let's uh, let's get the uh, let's make sure to get the players here uh ready and let them know that they're gonna be in chat in three, two, one. Say hello. Hey, hello. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> oh my God, Brandon. <laughs> Testing one two ninety nine. Well, well, hello, brooding master. <laughs> I heard everything, but now, now you just got a green circle, just completely. Oop. Whoop. Hello. Shadow. <sighs> No, not tech difficulties. The bane of existence. Uh, shadow. Hi, Ariana. Welcome on in. Shadow, you there? Testing. I heard a testing. <laughs> Shadow, what'd you break? Shadow. Shadow, can you hear me? Oh my god. I know Jeff and Brandon can hear me. Oh, was that? Come in. Breaking up. Okay, I can hear Jeff. Z you hear that? You hear that? Is that fun? Is that fun? Brandon, you can hear me. Oh, that's funny. Okay, I see what the problem is. Were you streaming? No. no. I think I know what he did. <laughs> Fine! Don't worry about it! Everything's fine! Shadow. Sh fine! Shadow! Don't worry about it! Stop doing that. Stop it's doing that. Fine! Oh, uh, boy. Uh, anyways. Welcome on in, everybody, to Halloween one shot on all hollows eve eve so thank you for the hydrates shadow are you streaming this week good question i've yet to figure that out because hmm. someone is supposed to get back to me on plans and it hasn't quite worked out yet Sorry. so I, yeah I, everything is pending at the moment you're more than welcome to check out my discord for the most up-to-date information on my stream schedule uh including when i may or may not be streaming this week but as of this point in time i do not have a schedule up so sorry no no impromptu halloween stream uh that would be a negative 
Oh, he must be going some places for Halloween. <laughs> Gonna be rocking. Nice, very nice. But yes, uh, to my other fellow players, I uh, hope you enjoy tonight's uh, Halloween one-shot conclusion. Um, and also get to enjoy your Halloween with friends, family, or just whatever you're doing. <sighs> but yeah, you guys ready to roll? Girl, I have a brood of children that are going to be leading around Halloween. I'm not going to be enjoying nothing but being exhausted. <laughs> Going house to 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 house. Oh, just make sure you collect your candy tax at the end of the escort service, so that's your payment fee. Oh man, I've gotten so old. I don't even like candy like that no more. Damn. I'll be like the government. I'll take the taxes and just throw it away. <laughs> or you can let your wife eat it. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, be like the government. <laughs> Give it to someone. <laughs> oh. I'll throw it away. Nah, just give it to your wife. Ah. <laughs> uh, no, it just makes you know, I'm like also cousins and stuff are coming too, so it's gonna be like thirty kids we're leading around. Okay. Uh. Damn. That yeah, no, that makes sense. You're gonna have a big old party back there and at least no Gabe to clog the toilet. God, that's still. Oh, you have to rent from Mexico. That we never. <laughs> I don't know. Rented one of those nice porta potty things. Yeah, they're, they're all like electric and whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. The Sh high end porta potty. <laughs> the high end. Damn. You mean like a like RV trailer style? With the, with air conditioning and everything. Oh, yeah, it costs like 1500 for the night. Damn. Oh. It's actually a really nice one. Ugh. Shadow with the hydrates, the stretches, and the posture checks, and then the 1,000 bits. Because something has happen is happening this week. Figure it out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yes. 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 Well, with that note, we are going to say to bye to our... Ferret playing the music. Oh, is that what that is? Yes. Oh. The oops. industrious ferret. That's what they call it now. So. Oh. Quick side note. Did y'all see the FNAF movie yet? Which one? Working on it. The the, the Five Nights of Mo uh, Freddy's movie? Ah, uh, no. Working on it. That's, that's alright. It's not. It's not like. It's not like a great movie, but sorry. Right. A lot of people uh, have been saying if you've played the games, you'll really enjoy it. No, I mean it, oh, I never played oops. the games. Uh, but I but oops. But it was okay. Well, I'm in trouble because I've never played any of the games. <laughs> All right, go yeah, neither have I. Because I hate I hate that cheap jump scare. But you know what? Let's just play D and D, y'all. Because I I will go on a rant. <laughs> about that horrible cheap uh, love style of game development, uh, but you know what? It made him a franchise and became filthy rich. So you know what? Good on him. <laughs> I was about to say there are books and everything else on it. So yeah, people love trash. What can I say? Mm. Uh. <laughs> the same reason why Not I love really music necessary. <laughs> What? Hey, wait, if you like trash, enjoy trash. I love the isekai. That's all trash. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Alright, who remembers what happened last time? I want to see if anybody remembers. You got teleported uh, you did to something to at the end of the forest and somebody died. So I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, my brain damage card. So, God, I think expect. we all leveled up. We found an. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're level eight now, right? No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Three feet. Level 12, you say? Oh, my God. No. Oh, was it 12? Oh, no. shit. Okay, no. my bad. No, I fucked no. up. Oh, my God. Clearly, I'm misremembering. Damn. Oh, and when I get trolled really hard. Okay. No, so. 
as Shadow actually. So we're at had... level eight? No. Not twelve? No. God. Oh. Shadow had that's Shadow had stated that you guys were each on your own adventure. Creepy weapon. forest. We wandered into some old ladies or some witch's hut who we may or may not have wanted to kill, but she claimed that uh, she was just doing her own thing. No hostile. Oh yeah, if you had the map the exception on the we fought the, like a tree. Mm. Some kind. Yeah, and said tree yeah. wrecked to somebody. I think it was yeah, no. you, you mean oh, it was the tree you. basically killed the lady. Uh, Shadow's. No, was it Shadow's character or was it Brandon's character that also went down? No, it was Brandon's character. Yeah, basically half our group got taken down by the shrubbery. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But we prevailed, everybody survived, we took a long rest, and then we got attacked by some other bullshit, because sorry we were trying to not die! Oh, we took on a scarecrow that was a lot less scary than a tree. Apparently. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, apparently. So, yeah, you guys... How the dice work. <laughs> you guys basically, as you had stated found your way over to Granny's uh, place of living and you guys went to go get her a peduckle. Uh, it basically a plant to help make the potions of and growing or whatever the heck they were called again. Um, but <clears throat> because she was having a hard time originally because she was getting attacked by some creature with a pumpkin head <clears throat> and this is why you guys were sent out and so when you guys didn't approach the pumpkins that's when the tree attacked yes uh brandon's character went down and um so did granny when you guys did defeat the tree yes you did take a long rest <clears throat> and according to book if you took a long rest, the Scarecrow would attack you <clears throat> to try and stir up more trouble. So, after you had defeated the Scarecrow, that is where we left off. Zypher taking a potion of healing. And so, you guys are in the same position as the map. And she had told you it was about to the north-ish of the giant's home that supposedly this creature was maybe staying at so what do you guys do well, if we're good let's head to this giant's home then okay uh, who Hopefully I'm not good, and I don't remember why. Wait, say that again? How much damage did you destroy me with? Oh, right. I think 15 it's... damage? <coughs> Maybe. Wiped out half my health? <laughs> okay, yeah, that tracks. Yeah. So... As you guys continue to go and try and search out the old giant's home, when the characters are traveling north... So you guys traveled north for just a little bit. And as or I take you over... Mark. As I take you to the other map, I will read this out. As the road draws to an end, a large creaking wooden home stands bravely against the torture of time. In front of it is two rusted and ruined braziers. The house faces the opposite of another pumpkin patch, one larger than the last. As you take in the eerie sound surroundings, the braziers ignite with, fury, with a furious roar, producing green flames. Only the brave or foolish will linger here any longer. So, which are you? <coughs> Both. Uh, 
All right. Well, as they say, the line between stupidity and bravery is quite thick. Can we roll to see what we are? <laughs> no. So, you guys have the pumpkin patch, graveyard, and the barn, or the, sorry, not barn, the giant's home. What do you do? Well, we were trying to go to the giant, correct? Oh, yeah, check the giant home. I think that's, I guess that's what this structure is on the right to us. Yes, the structure to the right where the green, the green lit braziers are. Do you believe that's where the... Sorry, what was that one chick's name? You mean... And I will show her art once again. <clears throat> Give me one second. Handouts. Do, 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 do. Granny Mc... Granny McFanny. Right. Hello, this boys. He told us to go to the giant's home. That's thinking that she did we might say find... it was it was hiding out in in this area. I don't know if she specifically said it was the home itself, but She knew a giant lived up here. She knew it ran off in this direction, which makes the logical sense of it hiding out here. And we're hunting the creature that's hunting her, right? But yes, yes. Well, I would say the... The household... We don't find anything hiding in there. Perhaps we can find other things of use in our fights. <clears throat> so, do you guys head over to the the house? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. You said these brazers lit up as we approached them. Can I just do like an Arcana check on it, just to see if there's anything odd about them? Sure. Uh Okay. Yeah, I, I was also gonna ask, and the house like looks like all run down and everything, like it does in the photo. Yes, the house does look run down, like it does in the photo. The photo <laughs> doors open or closed? Um, open. Okay. With an Arcana check of eighteen. <laughs> Honestly, it seems magical something lit it somehow but what it seems a little more outside the realm of whoa what the hell where'd you go he teleported i do an archon check on this house to see if it's Hold safe on. i know what happened you accidentally got teleported to the wrong layer my bad Go ahead and move yourself back up. There we go. Boom. <laughs> that was weird. <sighs> hmm. I wonder if it's like last week how we couldn't go through the walls only through open doors. Shadow, um, are you joining them over at the house? I oh yeah, same where my last token week. Is. You can't go through walls like moving your characters. You have to go oh, through open doors. Never mind. Z's profile image was blocking my icon or it was hiding under it. Oh. Found it! This is why I turn off those things anyways. <laughs> Alright. As you guys go there, you can roll me an investigation Chuck. Sixteen and eight and a five. With the five, Yarick, yeah, this home is abandoned. You know, it's been abandoned. It doesn't seem like it's run. You know, it's just run down. You know, giants, furniture run down. Just everything run down. Unfortunate, but yes. 
With an eight, Jeff, uh, Gecko would just see that not much is here. There's no potions. There's no weapons. There's no anything. Just mahogany? <laughs> Unfortunate. If it was mahogany, it would be in much better condition. Now, for a 16, Zypher. Zypher, you try and try to search and, you know, vines seem to be on the walls and... Yet, there's nothing in here. I suppose there was nothing of use in here after all. Unfortunate. Yes. So as you guys take some of that time to investigate the house and yet find nothing, what do you guys do? I mean, I'm kind of wondering if we should do like a perception check on the house itself, or at least inside. You can make a perception check if you must. Um, can I run Arcana for the house? Sure. Trying to see if if I can sense any illusions or any kind of magic being cast upon the house that is preventing us from being able to find anything because something obviously brought us here and considering we just got attacked by a tree and a scarecrow, like... I would assume that what we're up against is magical to some degree, in which case maybe there's traces of it in the house. I don't know, but that's sure. what he that's what Zypher would be trying to look for. Since his investigation yielded nothing. And he sees a nothing. <laughs> well, you never know. DC might say otherwise. Perception of twenty two, you look at this house, um Gecko. And nothing. It looks like an abandoned house. It looks so run down. It's it's unfortunate. So it makes you wonder why the giant's house is so run down. Why? Yet it's still standing here to the test of time. Who knows? With a ten arcana. <sighs> Shit, something's going on. Magical sh bullshittery is going on. You're like, mm. you you have a hunch, but again, you think and you think, and it's like, this is a house. I no illusions that you can tell. Nothing. No, you don't feel a school of magic either. Uh, unless there's anything else you two want to do here, I suggest we move onward if there's nothing else of use to us. And again, these, these green uh, glowing braziers just popped up as we walked up here? So the braziers yeah. were there. As soon as you walked up... Whew. Basically, they're like security yeah. lights. Like, as you're approaching a house, they just come on. Motion sensors, I guess, maybe. <clears throat> I would say the odd I mean, oddity would be the color of the flame, not so much the flame itself. I, mean, I did Arcana earlier, and they looked okay. Mm -hmm. As did I, and because Zypher's a dumbass, he <laughs> doesn't notice anything either, so... If there is a trap in here, we're just gonna have to eat it, because I don't know what else we can oh. do. Well, we can make a suggestion. Should we try putting out one of those bra bra uh, brazers out and see if it does anything? You can try. <clears throat> I mean, it's obviously magical in nature. I would assume magic would be required to extinguish it. I am 
admittedly not as proficient in such arts as others may be, so you're more than welcome to try it. No spells but... either. Alright. Well. Did we notice the cemetery as we came in, or were we just distracted by the house as it lit up as we came in? I would say you would notice a cemetery in someone's backyard, essentially. Or okay, because I didn't know as we approach if the blazer's activating, if that distracts us from seeing it, or... I mean... I don't think someone would... I mean... Hmm. I mean, you flat out told us when we walked up to this area that there was a graveyard of. Okay, I just kind of remember like that because I got distracted by the blazers coming on and that stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know so, if there was a third one, but I know he mentioned the graveyard and something about us possibly getting attacked or. It would might have been unwise for us to just linger around pumpkin just, patch or something like that yeah like i remember hearing something about that but i don't remember if there was a third location here to I'll, investigate. I'll reread it again as the road draws to an end a large creaking wooden home stands bravely against the torture of time in front of it are two rusted and ruined braziers the house faces the opposite of another pumpkin patch one larger than the last uh -huh. As you take in the eerie surroundings, the brazier ignites with a furious roar producing green flames. Only the brave or foolish would linger here any longer. So which are you? So you would notice that there is a cemetery at the back of uh, the pumpkin patch. Set it on fire. I mean, I appreciate the politeness, but this is not the place for marketing. <laughs> Mix s'mores. Well, that's not that's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> God damn it, you guys! Uh, oh, that's. Shadow has figured something out. Oh, shit. Sorry, give me a second. I'm trying mm -hmm. to fix your stream. Yeah, no worries. Unless you don't care about that. Or did no, you already take care of it? I hit block, but... Yeah, I hit block and now I can't see the message. Normally I get the ban thing. Yeah, no. A bot. Yes. And bot mysteriously has disappeared. Oh, there we go. There we go. Cool. Yeah, no kidding. You did mess with it. Okay, cool. Sorry. So we are investigating graveyard. <laughs> let it burn, let it burn, reduce it down to ash roll. Jeez. Oh, Lord. Sorry, Kana. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, Gecko and Yarick. Actually, you know, because this is a one shot and I've always wanted to do this in DD, I am setting out fire to the house. You're going to try to set fire to the house. Yes, sir. Okay. Explain to me how you're going to set fire to the house. Fucking Christ. Fire breath weapon. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. So yeah, a 30 foot line of fire that's five feet wide shoots through the house. Okay, can you... Is it, is it somewhere in the description saying if it's things not held or carried that it catches fire? Just to make sure. 
I'm reading. Uh, it doesn't specifically call that out, no. They missed the chaos. Hmm. With your... Because <sighs> it doesn't specifically... <clears throat> Alright, Brandon. Heads or tails? I just go with it. Huh? Heads? Oh, the Lord has. That's unfortunate. As you do your fire breath to this house, you burn through. I would say buh, 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 the door, the first portion, you know, like if you're lined up, the door and the first post. That catches fire, but it then it seems to die down. Seeing how big this house is, and I would say because of the damage, that's... It's like a it's like a fire in a fire pit. If the log is bigger, it's harder to burn. This is the way I'm putting it. Good try though. Interesting. Interesting method. Do you try again, or do you uh, try to investigate with the, the rest? I don't know if you're muted. Sorry, kid tantrum. I got to take care of it. No, 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 no worries. <clears throat> Do you two investigate while he's trying to burn this down, or do you? Uh, uh, what are we investigating? Uh, Why the house not burning down, or something else? No, uh, I would. I assumed that the house was done and taken care of. Zypher would have went to investigate the pumpkin badge or the cemetery thing, unbeknownst to him that someone in our party is not following and is trying to burn a house for some odd reason. Because I don't mind checking out the woods just nearby the house. Maybe there's something there. Then hit the cemetery last. Okay. Okay, so we're splitting up the party because that was... I thought our we were heading towards the patch, so... <laughs> so Zypher's headed towards the patch. Because I was under the impression the plan was for all of us <laughs> to head to the patch. And apparently, oh people what? didn't bother That's... to. Oh boy! So Who's Shadow, get sacrificed first. I, I would say you would. I would say have your character stop here. At, so then I'll take care of each. So as Brandon's character Yarick is trying to burn the house, even though it's ha he's having a terrible time. Gecko, you seem to go investigate the woods. How far into the woods do you go? I'm just stopping right here in front of this kind of like first tree. Okay. What are you doing? What What is Gecko doing? Explain to me. Oh, he just remembers how... Well, he just figures like, well, maybe there's something around the house that will help or might explain more what's going on. So I also remember how we attacked him last time. So he's trying to keep his distance just somewhat safely away, just in case it attacks. So I think of, do I want to do a normal investigation or an arcana check? But I'll probably just do like a normal investigation in the woods okay. to see if something 
is out of the ordinary. Then I'll go Arcana, depending on how I feel like on the investigation. Cool. All right, roll that investigation check. Twelve. With a twelve. Oh, no, with a twelve. You investigate, kind of, as you get somewhat close, but not close enough. The tree seems normal, but it, you know, it, to this, what is normal? This kind of twisted, knotted tree. And how the forest seems to just be, you know, like when you first entered, almost, into this realm. Nothing seems out of place. Doesn't seem like it would be a fake tree either. Do you go further in or do you stay? I think of I mean, my intelligence and wisdom. Uh, that's good. I'm going in. All right. I'll go. I'll, I'll go right about here. Okay, so as you go further in, what do you do? Oh, I did an investigation last time. Let's do an Arcana check just to see. Natural 20 with a 21. Rolling your Arcana check. As you get further into the forest, nothing magical presence-wise out here is there. You hmm. get a small pressure back the way you came. Which is unfortunate, because now, with that, we switch over to Shadow's character, Zypher. Ooh, a finger. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Have fun, guys! Alright, I'll start making a new character. Okay. See you all next session. Oh, it's a one-shot, so I'm just dead. <laughs> um, yeah. Someone wanted to burn a house. Well... And then someone wanted to do a dejected Yarick who just walks over and kicks a pumpkin since his house this is attempt at, at arson failed. I'll at least allow that for what's about to happen. As you walk over dejectedly and catch up within mere seconds, y Yarick and Zypher. I will read this aloud. A heavy wind whips through the area with the leaves that dance dramatically in the air. And as you see, several pumpkins begin to rise from the patch, standing firm with vine-like limbs. One stumbles forward, and its presence holds traces of death. The danger is now. I need everyone to roll initiative. <clears throat> Lovely. Wow. They said the person is kind of safe, so to 
speak is going first look like. <laughs> I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> um, if it came into the woods with me, guys, it's safer. <laughs> oh. I need to roll for bridge. Uh... <clears throat> That's the first safer in the woods, okay? <laughs> is my yeah, initiative. I mean, everybody knows that in a good horror movie, you hide in the woods. All right. Ooh, soft 20. And I'll roll for these guys in just a second. Let me get them up on the layer. Oh, I have advantage on initiative roll. Let's see if I get higher. Huh. I wonder why I didn't roll that advantage. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> ha! Okay. Hmm. Really quick, to give everybody a... Let's see, are these in the handout? Yes, they are. To give you a, a glimpse of what you are looking at. This is what you look at as you these rise from the pumpkin patch. So... Character sheet going. And they will roll for initiative. Ooh, they rolled high. Yes, they did. Wow. I don't know if you want that shown on the screen or not, but. Uh, because it's the roll 20 character sheet, I can't stop it. Okay. Unfortunate, but. Just allows you guys to, yeah. Keep it in check. Make sure you're not cheating. <laughs> I would never. No fudging rolls on your end. All right. Let's get this initiative order going. So, token layer. Alright, everyone. Add turn. <clears throat> okay, thank you for not showing up when I need you to. Oh, what the hell? I just noticed Le Pumpkins also rolled a 20. Yes. Yep. Le Pumpkins did roll a 20. These jack o' lanterns be nimble. So, who has the high. Basically. I know my character's going first with a natural 20. Why did this come down to do they, does Brandon go before them or after them? Okay, give me one second as I look at their sheet. Brandon, what is your deck? I got a plus two on my deck. Ah, uh, plus two. Well, Brandon, if you would so kindly, roll me a d20. Vaughn, another 20. Where, where's that guy after? Oops, I hit a six. My bad. The first one's a 15. 15. Got it. All right. Rolling a d20. 10. They will, you will go first before them. That's all. And then one more person I need to add to the initiative because apparently they did not want to add him. Add to. That would be Jeff's character with... Why does it say you have an 8? That makes no sense. Excuse you. That is a 21. And I will move you up the list. 
So. Why did it give Zypher a 20? That, the fuck, the fuck's going on here? Okay, there's four of these fuckers. Okay, perfect. With that, Gecko, it's your turn. Okay, here's my question. Based on my position, am I even aware that they're about to be attacked? You know what? I will give it with your Arcana check. As you make that Arcana check, and I had said you felt something. Okay. You feel that presence a little bit more as in the six seconds that goes by. So, you do feel danger with that Arcana check. Okay. Ready. Okay, I'll go here. Who's there? He's the rising pumpkin. Uh, he'll take his crossbow out and he will fire at this one here. The one closest to Yarick? Yeah, basically that one right there. Okay, go for it. Thirteen. Does a thirteen hit? Well, let's find out. <clears throat> as you raise your crossbow and you see this animated pumpkin come to life and it's just uh, you fire the crossbow and your bolt sails through the air and hits landing straight into the uh, viney shoulder of this pumpkin for five damage Okay. All right. Anything else? Bonus action? More movement? Or did you use up all your movement? Well, I, I used my full movement. Uh, what was my bonus action? Uh, let's Um, that'll be it for me for this turn. Okay. And with that, we now go to Yarick's turn. Brandon, I don't know if you're muted. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm doing my job. Sorry, real quick. I'm just going to go to the closest one and attack. You're just going to uh, walk up and attack? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Yarick. Five, ten. Moves up ten feet. Yarick will then attack with his Maul of Warning. With a 12, a 12 unfortunately misses. As you go to swing the Maul, and this pumpkin seems to vine body out of its way, swaying with the winds. An evil smile on its face. Uh, bonus actions. I don't know if we need to do any bonus actions yet. So, he moved. Da 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 da. Alright, with that, it is now the pumpkin's turn. The pumpkins have how much movement? 20. So 
25 feet of movement for that pumpkin. This pumpkin over here. Jeez, Rick. And roll 20 just doesn't want to catch up. Okay. Did that one pumpkin move for you on the screen? Right here? Uh, no. There is not a pumpkin there, if that's what you mean. No, the the token is still in the original position next to the entrance to the graveyard. What the fuck? Okay. Did he delete now? I don't know which token you're moving. Were there three of them? No, I had four, so control. There is one missing. Yeah, it's gone now. Okay. Okay, I'm going to control C, control V. Okay, it's back. All right. Hey. There we go. For some, I don't know what the heck was going on there. Cool. All right, 25 feet of movement. So, first animated pumpkin is going to attack Yarrick. So, these things can make... Ooh. Oh! Interesting. Very interesting. Did music die for anybody, or is it just me? It might have been just you, because the music's playing for me. That happens. Roll20 does that. I've refreshed it three times, and I just see now playing Awakened Combat, but no, none of the, um, nothing is moving. Ah. Okay, hold on. Can you hear it now? Uh, I can, but I'm not sure if that's on your stream or on my end. That is on my end. Yes, I can hear it. Cool. Just wanted to make sure for you. Give you the ambiance. Appreciate it. Not a problem. Anytime. I mean, I can always just put on I Prevail or Nine Inch Kills or Bullet from My Valentine. Man, there's, there's, a bit of, <laughs> there's a bit of, you know. Ooh. Huh. Cool. All right. So, it's going to take one root whip attack. Uh, a six will not hit Yarrick as Yarrick ducks under the one whip. And we'll try again. And a 20. Wow. Woo. Ooh, the. The. Woo. Does a 23 hit Yarrick? Soundly. All right. As Yarrick gets hit with a 23. You will take Okay. Alright. Ba ba da uh one D six plus two. So advanced dice roller. One D six plus two. Rolling. You take seven points of slashing damage as this root becomes like almost like a sword and slashes into your body. The other one that is right next to Zypher will also make a root whip. The nine hit. Cypher. No. 
It will make another Root Whip attack at you. Does a 14 hit? No. So as it tries to whip out these vines at you, you just block with your weapon. This thing seems to have an evil grin and just decides to keep coming at you. And with that, that is the end of their turn. And I need Zypher. You're up. I think I'm just going to stab it. Try and remember what the hell this character does. That's okay. Take your time. Uh, okay. Uh, so the thing is laughing at at him, right? Yes. It's it's kind of like so, almost for flavor same. purposes. Mm -hmm. He's going to chuckle and and just uh very um, arrogantly say you laugh now but I would be me who laughs last and he does his whole form of dread stick dark smoke aura swirls around him as he takes on the form of a reaper ghostly specter spectral <coughs> reaper uh, okay. just for flavor purposes that's not really what actually happens in the thing, I don't think, but uh, he gets temporary hit points equal to... 1d10 plus your four. warlock level. So, so that's 4. Alright. Could be worse. <clears throat> so that was a bonus action, and cool. then he's gonna stab at it. Go for it. 16. Does a 16 hit this thing? As you go in to stab it with a rapier, you find purchase with a 16 as you stab through the stomach of the vines for seven piercing. Much appreciated. It'd be very awkward if he arrogantly goads him and then completely fucks up an attack. <laughs> Right, that, um, that's, that's it. That was bonus action. That was action. Uh, he doesn't dare move because that's going to trigger opportunity. And he's sort of kind of... Obviously, he doesn't have a dueler stance, but this is kind of like... In his mind, he's like very focused on this guy. So gonna he's going to stand his ground and be like, all right. I don't know why the turn order is not showing properly on the stream, but... Oh, no. Well, it, I saw it on the stream. I don't know if it was supposed well, to be, like, it's... almost in the center of the screen. No, so it's not even showing Yarick or Gecko on the turn oh. order. Oh! Actually, that's the same from my side. Weird, like, because... Like, actual Roll20. I only see two pumpkins and Cypher. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. That's weird. Um... Yeah. Either way, I still have it on my end, so that's fine. So, it is now Gecko's turn. Gecko, what do you do? I there. I drop my crossbow, pull out my glaive. And for bonus action, I'm going to activate my Crimson Right uh, ability. Uh, let's see, I take three damage. So you're taking. Oh, you're going. Oh, interesting. Um. All right, critical roll. Let's go. Now I'm going to attack the ones up above me. Okay. So your weapon is now imbued with your crimson, right? Yeah. Okay. Which will do uh, 1d4 lightning damage. Ooh, interesting. Ooh. Oh, 
That's a nat one, so... That's a natural one. Uh-oh. Friendly fire. 32. You go in to try to, I'm assuming, hit the one above, right? With your reach. Yeah. You miss and mistake that pumpkin up for a pumpkin over here and smash that he the head of that pumpkin. Because they all have faces cut out. All right, anything else? And that was my bonus, that was my attack. That's only other damage I Okay. That will be it for me. All right, with that, it is now Yarick's turn. Oh. And the Crimson Rite is okay. still active. It, it still goes on for, all, for, all, for the rest of the fight. No, yeah, no, I, if I remember correctly, it, it, it lasts until you drop. Either I drop the weapon or we I take a rest. Yes. All right, Yarick, what do you do? So, yes, so Yarick is going to risk an attack of opportunity by running through here to this position. Okay, so you're risking. So I guess this one gets me attacking. One attack. This guy. Okay. It will do. Whip. Does an 18 hit? Yes, it does. Alright, with that, we re roll that. You take max damage, 8 points of damage. As hey! You okay. And then he will uh, use his final breath weapon for the day, so it's a DC. 12 for half damage, and the line of fire hits those three that are in the line. And I... Please don't roll low. And of course... Of course I rolled the, practically the minimum damage. So, it's a DC save? 12, yeah. To take one or two damage. So... Cool. That was worth it. Uh, what what is it? Deck save. Yeah. So one, two, three. What's the DC? Twelve. Okay. One passes. Two fail. <laughs> So oh, that would have been great. <laughs> the one immediately in front of you takes two damage. The and, one uh, just Go ahead. the one behind him also takes two damage. But the one furthest away, seeing it coming, kind of dodges out of the way for the one. Go and uh, uh, just just for fluff, uh, as he spurts the flame out, some of it wraps around his own body, healing him for uh, uh, thirteen. Damn! Using the the second win. Nice. That was almost max. And with that, it is now the pumpkin's turn. Fifteen feet. This one will move one foot forward. All right. Who oh boy? Sir, Sir Jeff is in a predicament. Wrap, root, whip with advantage. Does a soft twenty hit? Yes. All right. Seeing as you start to get sur uh, surrounded on each side with a murder sandwich, you take. Okay, advanced dice roller, show up, you dumb thing. 
six points of damage as the first whip from the first one hits. It throws a second root out at you and does a 23 hit. Yep. Oof. Oof. All right. Dice roller once again rolling 1d6 plus 2. That is three points of damage. But since both uh, attacks actually hit and you're a medium creature, you are now considered grappled. A creature grappled by this begins to get wrapped in vines if a creature is still grappled at the end of their next turn they also become restrained until the end until the grapple ends interesting okay so you are just considered grappled right now and i will not all right and then the other side so as you're grappled there another 23 For seven damage and then one more whip as these things slash into you does a 17 hit yep for five points of damage are you still up <laughs> yep okay cool <laughs> thank goodness all right Yarick is going to make two root whips at you does a 13 hit no okay it will then as it misses the first throw out its second one and i'm sure a seven doesn't hit you are trying to dodge this like no other especially after you just healed yourself Shadow, does a nine hit Zypher? Nope. All right, Zypher once again uses his rapier to block one whip. But will he be able to block the other one? Does a 21 hit? Sure, but as he, as that does hit, He'll raise his hand a ghostly specter. Wait, hold up. Never mind! I apparently used Hellish Rebuke already, so I. Oh, against the Scarecrow. Luck. Yeah. So. Ignore uh, that, I get killed. You take only five points of slashing damage as this thing whips you across the chest. Okay. That kills my temp HP. All right. As your form of dread still wraps around you, it is now your turn, sir. All right. Well, I will attack it with a twenty-four, and I get sneak attack. This yes, time you do. Yarick's there. Yarick is there. As you see Yarick be within range, you're like, I got this. There's no way I can fail now, especially taunting this thing. You unleash a nice blow, slashing and piercing into this body for, god, 19 points of damage? Uh, heh, you're funny. Immediately after you deal your sneak attack damage to a creature on your turn, you can- Oh, wait. Target. Actually, it is within 30 feet. Fuck it. Whales from the grave. Interesting. So, what is for the for the class? Tell us what whales does. So, as he's attacking, as Zypher is stabbing this thing, sort of like I'm gonna spin it a little, but basically oh, cool. you're probably seeing this like s smoke swirling around his sword, almost sort of infecting the other creature or not the other creature but the creature that he's attacking he takes mm -hmm. a slash the piercing damage as normal but that smoke starts to spread and just hops from 
that creature to the creature ten feet north of him to the next one, and he takes uh, the six necrotic damage as it sort of seeps into its thorny veins or whatever the hell it is. Wait, does the first one take it or is it the second one? No, it's the second one. Ah, okay. Uh, well, actually... I th think we had to look up what yeah, level 17. Yeah, we had to... Sorry. No, no, no. no. So, if it, at 17th level, you can deal the necrotic damage to the first creature. God. But normally, what's supposed to happen is you target a second creature within 30 feet of the first. And the Scarecrow did not have any creature 30 feet. That's why it, that's right. why this attack didn't work that time. But six necrosis, huh? Yes. And that is not a damage immunity. So, yes. As and you... yes. because I attacked the, the first creature, as a bonus action... Well, no, the bonus action is actually the transformation, but this just strikes when he hits... The first creature that I hit with the rapier attack needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Ah, uh, yes. Former dread. Wisdom saving throw. I did not trigger that the last time, but I made sure to remember this time. Right. As he is getting... What, what condition is this? Uh, frightened. As you go to use this ability, He's immune to this shit, isn't he? It almost seems as if he's immune. Well, it was a free free hit anyway. No, you, you know what? Pfft, I would've took the chance. So, you tried, and I applaud it. I, at least it wasn't a full action for that to happen. If I used a full action to make someone afraid and they were just outright immune, that would be able to do that. No. Yeah, I totally get that. But anything else or... Uh, nah. Well, hold up. So Whales of the Grave just auto-hits. Does part of the attack. The Form of Dread... Eh. In theory, I could bonus action move to support Gecko, but I just said last round that he is, like, in dueler mode right now, even though that's not really a thing of his. No, 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 I totally like, get it. That's his mentality, so uh, he's just gonna stand his ground. And cool. he's just going to keep on sort of taunting the... I mean, it's probably gonna kill me, but he is trying his damnedest to get this guy to be afraid, which obviously isn't going to work, but he's no. going to try his damnedest to, like, not relent in his, uh, overbearing, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. You're good. You're good. Sorry, Gago. It can survive another round, right? It, well, it is top of the order, so it is Gecko's turn. What is Gekka? Oh, right. Well, first, I need to do a strength check or a strength save. Uh, let me double check the sheet real quick. Escape DC. That'll determine what I can do or not. Um, go ahead and roll me a strength check. You break out. Hey. Okay. Let's go. Now, was that an action, bonus action? I would say a full action, unfortunately. I'm very sorry. All right. Bonus action. Let's see, where are they? I will use one of those potions of healing from the, the witch. Okay. Go for it. Six. Oh. A three and a one. Movement. I mean, if I move, I get any, I'll get two hits of them. Potentially. And potentially, but then if I move towards the party, that might open up more opportunities for the, them to all gang up on me. So it's like I'm screwed either way. Uh, 
Okay. Anything else? No, I mean, that's my... Yeah, so I'll stand my ground and we'll see what happens next round. All right, Yarick, you are up. There's the unmute button. I was looking for you forever. Uh, he will swing his mall in vengeance. 18. Which one are you hitting? The one below you or the one above you? Above. Above. Got it. 18 will definitely hit as you swing your maul and smash into the torso of this thing for six bludgeoning God. damage. Damn it. Damn. Right. How does that even make any sense when I'm looking at this roll? Uh, so, 2d6, uh, uh, yeah. anything gra uh, greater than or equal to 2, plus 2. So, there was a yeah, 1 I in there. What, I forgot what my stats were. I, I, it's me. I forgot what my stats were. Uh, Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was just helping you out with that math there. That was your action. Any bonus action? Uh, No. All right. No, that's it. I'm, I have bonus actions to use, but I'm like, do I want to do I want to use them now? There might be a bigger battle later. So. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mhm. With that, it is now the pumpkin's turn. We will go in order. Zypher. Does a. 17 hit. Shadow? Yes, it does. Ah. Alright then. Well, with that, we get the damage. The damage. 1d6 plus 2. That is max damage of 8. As this thing whips and slashes it across your shoulder, your right one specifically. And then with one more whip, does an 11 hit. That misses. As you see the vine kind of wrap around you with the one hit, and as you see the other one coming, you use your rapier to block and throw it away. And as it kind of staggers back in the five foot square it lets you go Yarick nope. as it rolls does a eight hit not today you again duck and weave and oh my god that is a natural 20 Oof. oh awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and activate my cloud rune oh what does this do so uh let's see can i post this on uh how do you do that there you go yeah when myself or a creature I can see is hit by an attack roll, I can use my reaction to invoke the rune and choose a different creature other than the attacker within 30 feet to be hit by the attack. The magic can transfer the attack to the regardless of attack. Oh, interesting. So. So I activate a, a rune that I have on my necklace to make it hit its friend here. Or no, no, actually, wait, is it, is it, wouldn't, hang on, no, not that one, uh, within 30 feet? Yeah, to make it hit one of the ones, uh, attacking, uh, Gecko. Okay. So for six points of damage. Alright, wow. Um, Jeebus. So like, the wind picks up and pushes its vine to its buddy. <laughs> Alright, 
Wow. That... Yeah, so let's flavor it this way. Your cloud acts like a portal almost. And as the other cloud appears next to this p animated pumpkin, as its evilish intent is there, it gets smacked in the face with vines. Wow. That's a, that, that was a good move. That was a good move, sir. I, I, I applaud that. Okay. It is now going to... The top one is going to whip you twice. Uh, so Gecko an eight will not hit, correct? Correct. And a seven will not hit. Oh, well, uh, yeah, eight and seven. Wow. I forgot I have an advantage, but still, those were terrible rolls. <laughs> the other one will try to hit you for a 22. Okay. As that one hits, the bottom one. So the first one, obviously distracted by getting hit by uh, an ally's vines out of nowhere. You take four points of damage from the one below, and as its first vinish hand wraps around you, it will try to smack you with the other root. Another 22. Okay. And you take... Another four points of damage, and you are grappled again. Now, reminder, the grapple status. For everybody at home who wants to know the homework version. A grapple creature's uh, speed becomes zero, and it can't benefit from any bonus to speed. The condition... If the condition ends, if the grappler is incapacitated... The condition also ends if an effect removes the grappled creature from the reach of the grappler or grappling effect, such as uh, being hurled away by a thunder wave spell. Good God. <laughs> Why do they have to be so specific? Um, with that, that ends their turn. It is now... Dark brooding Batman. Wait, no, never mind. Uh, Zyphers, turn. The fuck? Uh, how is this guy looking? How is the guy in front of you looking? Yeah. Back on a check. on a scale of one to ow, eh, pretty ow. He's looking pretty beat. All right. Bleeding some pumpkin uh, juice. We'll try this shit again. Does a 13 well, hit. hit? A 13 just hits. Oh, shit. Then. Hold on. Before you do any other bonuses or anything, you do 7 piercing and 7 sneak attack. Mm -hmm. How do you want to do this? Uh. Break out the cinnamon well, and make some spice latte. Channeling. A certain party that this guy would not know otherwise. Uh, he will oh, take a rapier and slash at the thing's neck. And assuming that he is successfully able to decapitate the head from its body, he will then, as the pumpkin head is falling, he will just with a ran with a mass flurry of blows again, just flavoring. He doesn't yeah, actually have that, but just no. for flavoring, he will chop up the pumpkin into bits and pieces until it is just nothing left but just little tiny chunks of sad remnant pumpkin head. That that works. That works, sir. And as that happens, the pieces fall to the floor. What do you do in this moment? Uh, at this point, I'm going to assume Yarick. Let's see. Am I really stupid enough to not realize that Gecko at this point that Gecko is getting ambushed by two creatures? Do I need a perception check, or can I just allude to that? Um. I would say as you turn around within the six seconds, you see him being assailed by two pumpkins. 
Because you can take a, a brief moment to look back. Seeing as okay. you are not within immediate danger. I'm going to move... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 there. Mm -hmm. Um... Trying to see if I had a. Well, here's a dumb, dumb idea. Mm -hmm. If I was, oh, you know what? No, nah, I can't do that. I'll reveal my location. Uh, can I bonus action throw a dagger at this one before closing the distance? Sure. You would I like to throw gonna, the dagger. I know, I know it's not going to give me a full rain of uh, of damage since it's offhand and it's not a dual wielding situation. But uh, correct. But you probably want to get the bonus anyways if you don't have that. Yeah. The idea also being that I can try and take aggro, so to speak, from Gecko. Go for it. Roll so, that dagger hit. <laughs> That's a freaking natural 20, bro. That's a freaking natural 20. What was that? I don't know. That's what three points. What you do? What you break? As you toss this dagger, as this thing is looking at Gecko, smiling, do I get holding. Sneak attack up? Unfortunate since it is still your turn, no. Okay, fair enough. You toss this, oh, I'm going to say, into the back of the head of this thing as it sticks there. And this. <gasps> well, I think he definitely got his attention. I would hope so. This one is still holding Gecko, but is now pissed. With a natural 20, I would say you have gotten its attention. Yeah, and to make it even more uh, appealing for this guy to focus his efforts on me, I'm going to move 25 feet right next to him. That's fine. And just, just uh, he'll point his rapier at it and he'll be like, You saw what I did to your friend back there? You're next. It actually didn't, but... Well, he's just the gonna meaning. Say it the anyway. meaning. I get the meaning, talking. which, yeah. yes, being very cocky. Yes, I like it. All right, with that, we are back up the turn order, and we are now on Gecko. Gecko, how what? you looking, buddy? Not good, apparently. Oh no. No. Now well, let me roll twice, so I'm still grappled. Yes, unfortunately, and... you're still grappled. Now, mind you. You can't, you don't have to break out of the grapple, which I'm going to be a kind DM right now. You can still attack while being grappled. If that's what you prefer to do instead. Well, let's give that a try. Okay. I will attack the one in front of me or above me, so to speak. Okay, the one above you with a 15. You, you, as that one is still kind of reeling from the the cloud rune, it gets hit in the face with this glaive, taking also, six... Also, quick question. Sure. Are these things considered, uh... What is it? Uh, undead? No, they are not considered undead. Okay. What's the 1d4? Oh, because of my Christmas right, it's uh, my elemental damage. Right, right, your oh, elemental damage. 10 damage, damage total. All right. As you send jolts of lightning through this thing as it grounds in, it grounds in but it takes the lightning damage. It also takes the slashing across the face. And as you see, they just have a sour frown and more man, uh, malicious look. Anything else? Well, I'm gonna do Hungry Jaws on it. Hungry Jaws! So. Oh. I did 
did not I thought that was gonna allow me to roll for it. Okay, so let's go back to actions. Come on. Uh bite. Sixteen will definitely hit. So how does I forget how the full effect of Hungry Jaws works. It's just three temporary HP. So it still takes the five piercing. Correct? Uh buh, 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 buh. It just says you make a bite attack. If it hits, you gain three temporary hit points. Oh, it deals damage as normal. Yep. Boom. So, yeah, you bite into the head of this thing, leaving gashing teeth marks. And as you kind of pumpkin spice drink, you gain your three temporary hit points. With that, anything else? That's it for me. All right, Yarick, you are up. Hit the unmute button. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, no, I'm mad at myself. I I forgot that I can use giant's might twice before long rest, <laughs> not once. Uh, so I'm gonna go Looks. ahead and become large, activating some uh, giant's might, which I'm reflavoring as the blood, the dragon blood within me to get bigger and more draconic. Oh boy! All right, go for it. <laughs> watch me miss! I swear to God, watch me miss! Oh boy! Twenty-three definitely hits. Okay. As you swing your maul of warning down onto this wow. thing for seven points of bludgeoning damage. Don't forget let your, me, uh... Let me add that extra d6. Yep. So, 11 points of damage as you swing this maul and smack it hard. It loses an arm, but then it starts to regrow. Uh, screw it, because I'm mad at myself. I'm just going to go ahead and Axe and Charge now. Okay. And attack it again. All right. Put it this way. If we don't long rest after this, we're probably going to be dead anyway. Who says you're going to have time for long resting? Like I said, I mean, if short we rest, don't long rest, we're probably going to be Why dead. Why do I keep rolling low on that? Uh, do you still get the Giant's Might, uh, D6? Yes, you do. Uh, I'll double check. I rolled it. Let me double check. I think it's with every attack. Okay. I know the uh... original one was, but I don't know if the revamp version was every attack. Oh, just one time back. So one time each of your turns. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because the, the, the Unearthed Arcana one was, like, every turn. If you had every attack, add it. Yeah. Yeah, but then people complain about stuff being OP, even though that's just a misnomer, but whatever. Sometimes it can make or break somebody dying. But 10 points of damage is nothing to sneeze at as you just wham again and rip the arm off of this thing and it starts to regrow. It is not looking too good. Regrowing even with the fire damage I dealt it earlier? No, these things don't have a weakness to fire. What they do to spices. Yeah. <laughs> and you superior uh, troll mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Halloween one shot. As it is now their turn, it now turns back to you, Yarick, and looks you dead in the eye with these glowing eyes and it will try to root whip you on the leg for 13 does the 13 hit i'm assuming no but sorry were you talking to me dude yes sir i was distracted yes what happened does a 13 hit you no it doesn't no sorry All right. swimming kids make it hard to hear you sometimes <laughs> and does a seven hit you negatory Oh boy, this thing is trying so hard, but you like lift your feet up as it swings. Now, looking down 
at you. Well, this one... So pissed off and so stupid. Let's you go. Um, Gecko. Dropping you prone. Well, actually, no, that's kind of fucked up. Oh, well. You land on your feet. But you are not prone. This one turns around with a knife in its head, Shadow. Looking at Zypher. Oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> it looks at Zypher and goes for a natural oh, oh, 20. Shit. <laughs> you really did piss it off. <laughs> Holy you shit. know... Uh... I had considered using the whole teleport thing to make me resistant to all damage, but I saved it, and I guess I made an well, error. Well, I rolled two ones, so that's four points of damage. Oh, okay. I'm as somehow still standing. As the first set of roots start to wrap around your body, it swings again. Does a 13 hit you? That misses. And again, you block the second arm, and it, it coils back, but it gives you this most malicious, evil, upset stare. It is not happy you smacked it in the back of the head with a knife. The other one, seeing as um, Gecko is now free to does an 11 hit gecko yep all right does a 16 hit gecko yes all right gecko you take seven points of slashing damage as this thing whips you gecko hard pinky, so that's four damage overall Okay. And with that, that is their turn, and we are back up the turn order. So. Back up the turn order? I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. I was gonna say, I thought yep. the order was Gecko, Yarek, yep. Fucking yep. Heads, and then... Yes. I, God I... damn it, see. And for your bonus action! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go All for right. it. What does Zypher so, do? So, I get advantage with Flanking. Gecko behind him, right? Correct. Flanking? Yep. Yeah, we're okay. doing we're doing, we're doing, doing the advantage flanking for the one shot. Okay. And hi Hits. And as you deal... Uh, 15 points of damage... Uh, whether or not that kills it, uh, oh wait, you know what, never mind, that's, that's, uh, I, never mind. Okay. Yes, 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 I don't know if I want to use my last thing of whales from the grave right now. Well, that's up to you, but, yeah, this thing is still alive, but not looking, it's, the... up it's not looking good. It is not looking All good. Alright. Uh, well, can I bonus action dagger it? If you have another dagger, go for it. I have to. All right. So the one sticking in the back of its head while the other is in your hand. Go for the stab. Uh, do I still get advantage? Yes, you get advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> If it's only on the cusp of dying, that should just finish it off. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently my daggers do better than my rape my actual weapon. Seven points of damage. Oh my god. This thing is still alive, but what? as you, hold on, hold on. This is funny. It just is staring you down, and as you slash it, you you just give this wry smile back. And you just shink right into the jaw of this thing and kind of leave this bleeding hole. Almost like Blight's 
Uh, uh dripping oh mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, I'm shit out of luck at this point. I got no more daggers. I no. can't do this shit again, you guys. Didn't, you, you didn't throw the dagger. It's still in your hand. Oh, it's still in my hand. Okay. Yes, because okay. you're not throwing it. You're five feet from it. You can okay. You can stabby stab. Okay. You're I wasn't... Okay, yeah. We're fine. yeah, you're dual wielding. You're good. You're good. So. <laughs> and with that, we are now up to Gecko. Holy shit, dude. Most tempted to hearing that is attack the guy below me just so they don't have advantage anymore. But uh, nope, I'm gonna still attack the guy above me. Let's see if I can finish that off. Go for it. 22 definitely hits. Four or another All four. All right. With you cleaving your glaving and you start slashing through, it looks at you like, <laughs> and then you smile. And as your blood right courses through your weapon, the lightning bursts out. And as smoke from the body, and it kind of just, the light in the pumpkin's head dies and fades. It falls to the ground and the head smashes. Nice. nice. Anything else? Uh, I want to use my potion or... I almost tempted to... Uh, do I want to do bonus action? I don't have daggers. Do I do as a bonus action just a normal bite attack on the pumpkin below me? Yeah. Go for it. Let's just see if we can finish that guy off. Let's see, that's what's advantage. Hit. A 21 hits. Jeff. Yeah. How do you want Gecko to do this? Hmm. You know what, Halloween? Full on decapitation. He just swallows the head hole and bites it right off. Jesus, do you spit up the dagger? Oh, that's right, those are in the way. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he just crunches whatever the dagger's part's not sticking out of then. Yeah, okay. let's not swallow daggers. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, like... Can I spit them out later on as my own projectile? <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, shit. Oh, it's shit. It's like you're barely standing, you swallow the pumpkin hole, and then the dagger just goes through your intestines. <laughs> oh, oh. Like, I need more iron my diet. Oh, God. Uh, Ow. Uh, All right. With that, do you have any movement that you want to do, or? I'm just going to stand where I am. Okay. I was wondering if I should have used my last push of the healing there instead, but we'll just see. We'll see. Yarick, you have one standing in front of you. What do you do? Oh, I'm definitely going to reel up and attack it. Also, a quick side note. Hmm. If anybody wanted that big-ass uh, red dragon, Barilos, or whatever he's called, that's, like, bigger than a, like a, a can of soda by a long shot, they just dropped the price by 50% for now. So, hmm. it's only $164. Jesus. Instead, instead of 336 Oh, it's somebody's birthday this week. Maybe he'll like that as a present you can give to him. Ooh. And I failed that attack. Either oh. way, I'm happy because I'm buying this mug. <laughs> oh, boy. 73. Oof. Um. You go to swing. And like a shot punt kind of a dude, but with that ball and chain. You t accidentally toss your weapon. And it lands over here. Rude. Bonus action. Uh 
No, I don't get a bonus action. Oh. Okay then. No bonus action. Alright, with that, it is now the Lone Pumpkin's turn. The Lone Pumpkin, seeing you disarmed, smiles, goes for a whip. Does a 13 hit? Nope. And does a 15 hit? Nope. Again, you lift your feet out of the way of these whipping tendrils of vine, and it seems to have no purchase. And with that, it is now Zypher's turn. Zypher, what do you do in this moment? Seeing as the one um, in front of you has been had its head half bitten off. Well, for wait, so there's only this one left, right? The Correct. one by Yarek. Yep. Uh, and I still have a dagger in my hand. And you're right be Yeah, I'm gonna be stupid and do the same move that I did with the one guy that was wailing on Gecko. Okay. He's gonna take his one dagger, and he's gonna just hurdle it. At this guy. Come on, get that's his 20. Let's go for three for three on the dagger. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> is that advantage or no? Negatory, Big Ben. Okay, that's fine. Unfortunate uh, with an my eight. My luck could only go so far. You toss it and it goes into one of the pumpkins next to the creature. So as he does that, so as he throws the dagger, he moves and. He'll he'll start moving. He'll start dashing forward, and then he'll see his dagger uh, miss, and he'll be unhappy about that. He will uh, go for the rapier. Do I have advantage on that roll? You know what? With you him being giant's might, yeah. with him being giant's mighted like that, yes. And it's still miss. Well, no, A maybe thirteen. A 13 hits. 13 is her AC. Who said that was their AC? Did I say they were, I that did. was their AC? I figured it out because my first attack of the cross was a 13, but Brandon, when he was hit with a 12, misses. So 13 was the AC. Fine. Fine. Be that way. 13. It's math. <laughs> I know. 13 points of damage. So sorry, Shadow. What? It's still alive? As, as you stab into it. You it just self destruct and it kicks you both out. Fuck, I forgot to do that! Damn it. Okay. Um... As the first time you stab into this thing through the heart, it kind of looks up at you and smiles. Well, that makes sense. This one will do that. <clears throat> Alright. It's still alive by an X amount of HP. Anything else? Same. Uh, no, because the dagger hit that failed was bonus. Uh, he did his movement, he did his action. I believe that's all he can do. Alright, Gecko. You're up. Well, okay, you know my bonus action, I'm just going to use my last potion of healing. Okay. Seven points of healing. Uh, better than nothing. And then... Eight, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I'll just move there, and then let's see if we can finish off this last pumpkin. Alright, go for it. With a natural 20. You leave this thing in two. And it makes sense that this is the last one because I had the most HP on this one. You guys all see that it starts to, the face starts to burn up brighter and brighter and brighter. I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw.
Oof. That's a fail. All right. And Yarick. Could have been back further. Oh, well. Uh, it's my turn. No, it's uh, a deck save. Will... Deck save. What? Dexterity deck saving save. throw. Oh, okay. It's a pumpkin bomb. Fifteen. The only person to fail, unfortunately, oh, was Gecko. Oh no! All right, Gecko. Well, Gecko just drank a potion of healing, right? Let's see. Hopefully, it was enough. Oh my God! Damn it! Well, As the head damaged. explodes, you take one point of fire damage. No! Gecko's not down! Uh, little firecracker goes off. Yep. <laughs> As you guys have defeated th these creatures, braziers up ahead in the cemetery light up with this green fire as well. What do you all do? Well, I much want to investigate the, the graveyard, but after that attack, I feel like a long rest is in order. How do you two fare? Echo says, I, I need it. Only a few hours has gone by. <laughs> Since well, we're out. already dying. Yarek's like, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. The, the short rest healed me to just two less than my than I max. You could. Short I mean, the, uh, the 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 second the second win. I mean, I'll I'll take any kind of rest. Short rest will be fine. Short rest will be sufficient, then. We might as well return to that house since it was abandoned and we theoretically checked it for a... Okay. What say you all? Unless okay. you want I, 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 can, I can do a little stretching. Bye. Alright, so back to the house. As you guys enter in the house... Go ahead and it make me... It up in our face. <laughs> no. No. Alright, you guys, how long do you want a short rest? Short, standard short rest is an hour, right? Okay. Go ahead and roll your hit die for short rest. If you choose to do so. Nice. That oh, four brought yeah. gave me those two in the tin bag. Nice. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, I got That'll seventeen do. back. Wait, how'd you get seventeen? I rolled one for five and rolled. Oh, sorry. I thought I thought that was mine. That was Jeff's. Okay, so I have eight then. I'll roll another one. Yeah, I did three of my rolls because I needed Christ. a lot of rice. Well, that only shows 1d10. Oh, plus 3. Oh. I thought that did all three rolls, because mm -hmm. for mine... Okay, so I need to do, what, two more? Yep. 12. This is all 1d10 right. I plus 3, but it gave me a hit plus... Die. Oh my god. This is pathetic. Okay. <laughs> 10. Okay, so, you're so doing two more, Jeff? One. It is still so 17. 14. Plus, you pl don't forget to add your. Um, I'm back at full health. That's that's all that matters to me. That that okay. was worth it doing those those three hit dies. Whew! As you guys heal. Okay, nothing seems to happen, but the winds are still heavy. Do you guys go and investigate into the cemetery area? Uh, can we do a perception? I want to do a perception check first. I'll approach the cemetery, but, like, before I enter, I want to do a perception check just to see if there's anything obviously wrong. Okay. 
Um, do you tell that to us? Because if you do that, I'll do an arcana check as we approach the graveyard. I mean, I would imagine... I don't... I don't know if, if like, it would naturally happen that a character would be like, I'm going to do a perception check to see the surrounding okay. area. <laughs> I think um, he would curse... He would do a cursory check just silently. He would... Like, maybe yeah, he would... That makes sense. Would, that makes sense. Maybe it would no, be I'm... obvious that he's, like, looking around maybe a little more closely or with a little more focus than he otherwise would. Like, he okay. is, like, almost straining his eyes to... And he's doing a full um, sort of periphery check, just visual inspection. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if it would come naturally for him to say, let me check the surrounding area first sort of thing. Okay, that's fair enough. So as you I'll, walk over I'll, there... I'll, I'll do an arcana check anyways, just because I feel like that's in nature's always just to do that. <laughs> A nine. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, give me a second. I'm going to remove all that stuff in my turn order. Cool. So... This goes. All right, with a 13 perception, you look through this gate. Not opening it, obviously, correct? Shadow? Sorry, what was that? So, when you do your perception check as you walk up, you don't open the gate. I'm just making sure. No. That. Okay. No. I'm. I'm... I very much want to take a look around before I go waltzing in without at least some attempt at reconnaissance before. Right, right. Um, I'm just double checking everything. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So, you look through the gate. Nothing seems amiss. It is a cemetery. The wind howls. It seems as though the, the dead of the giant's family, potentially, or whatever its mate's family is, could be buried here. Or his victim. We don't know. Mm, yeah, true. But is he a kind, is he a kind soul? Who knows? With a nine arcana, you don't get any oppressive magics. You don't find any true schools of magic. You only feel the the faint glow of the magic from the braziers near the cemetery. Yarik, are you doing anything while this is happening? Or are you just kind of being on guard? I will say that if I don't sense anything amiss aside from the obvious braziers are lit up with a magical fire that we don't know who or why or how it's being lit. Aside from that, he'll just be like, I don't... Aside from that, I don't think there's anything... Uh... Yeah, no, I, I don't have anything in my brain right now because it's presenting itself, it seems. Mm. Shall we proceed further? So I guess at that point, he'll be like, yeah, I, I I try to look around, get a sense of what's going on. I got nothing. Okay. So maybe that would trigger the Arcana check on, on Gecko's side, or he would just do that regardless. But yeah, now that he knows, or at least thinks he knows, that a visual inspection has not yielded anything that would warrant them immediate concern... what others do with that information. Okay. As this information is said, do you guys do anything else, or do you attempt to open the gate? Well, okay, I feel like we haven't done yet is do an investigation on the this, on this cemetery. Maybe that'll reveal something. Well, you haven't gone inside. Yeah. You haven't opened the gate. Yeah. 
Then, in that, that case, point. I say let's open Maybe the gate and... Maybe investigate the gate and make sure it's not trapped or something. Roll an investigation yep, check. Let's, let's cross kick that gate. Let's go. 18. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with the gate. Is it locked? Is it just open? Can I there tell a that from the inspection a or the investigation check? From the investigation check, there is a latch. Do you open the latch and push open the gate? Well, I think Zypher would tell the group, not noticing anything bizarre with the gate either, that we proceed. Gecko will just kind of like hold his glaive at the ready just in case he says, let's proceed. Yark. Onward. He'll, he'll take point. Okay. As Yark, you take point to open up the gate. Shadow, where do you want to place yourself? Uh, well, if Yarek's taking lead, I'll I'll take the rear, because so, I might be able to snipe at people at the... Yeah, and I'll be in the, the middle, because of my reach, I can either attack forward or backwards, in just in case, so yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah. really quick, is how you're arranged on the screen the way you want to be arranged, or do I need to fix it? Or you want uh, to fix it? I... I... Assuming that Yarick moves forward and Gecko follows, I think I would be directly behind Gecko. So you would be down one and Gecko's right here. Oh, shit. There. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> as you unlatch the gate and as the gate opens, I need everyone to roll initiative. As a dangerous ah. aura spills from within, but it doesn't stop there. You guys feel this aura, and it travels back to the house. And as you look toward the old giant's home, walking out of the doors, you see this gentleman... And I will reveal the art for everyone. And I think everyone knows what it looks like, but you know what? It's good art. You see, walking towards you is this hulking figure with a pumpkin's head. And he is cackling with a thunderous cackle out of the house and axe in hand the blight and fight have begun and as you hear <laughs> we will begin this fight so i need his character sheet open all right guys get ready for the fight all right we've got 17 for uh, Gecko, we have got 11 for both Yarick and Zypher. So, uh, between you two, who wants to go first? Uh, I mean, under normal oh, circumstances, you'd base it off of the dex, dex. modifier, right? Yeah, so yours is probably going to be higher. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go second, unless okay. Yarek has a burning desire to go first. Okay, let me sort, sort the list real quick here. Alright, perfect. And as you see him cackling, you guys now have begun the final fight. Final countdown. <laughs> okay, God, this is why I don't sing. You sing fine. Be quiet. 
All right, Gecko, you're up. crossbow and he'll fire a shot at it all right fuck you pumpkin bitch. <laughs> okay i'm assuming a six is a miss as you go to fire your crossbow you see him take his axe and swing and cut the bolt midair and he just goes <laughs> Anything else? Uh, let's see. He'll, uh, do I want to drop my crossbow? Yeah, I'll drop my crossbow and ready my glaive for any, uh, if he gets up in range for me to attack him or counterattack, I guess. Okay. As you end your turn, your boy is going to use a legendary action. He's going to use Mad Dash. Using two legendary actions, he will move up to his full movement. Three. Oh, he's got. Okay, so. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And that ends his legendary action. It is now his turn. Jack, again, laughing as he runs closer and closer towards you. And now, well, 1, 2, let's see. Move 30 feet to get right up to you. Smiles. And we'll use Vicious Battle Axe one-handed. Do I get the counterattack because I had my glaive ready for it? Or do I do that after his so that's a So that's your held action? Yeah. Correct? Okay, go for your glaive. <laughs> okay. Glaive of Warning 20. And it's my lightning still surging, so that's another D4. Okay. So oh no, that... I took a long rest, so that's that's over. Never mind it. Subtract that three. That's fine. Uh, as you do 13 points of damage, is... you slash into him, and he just goes, <laughs> and he raises his axe, swings one-handed. Does a 21 hit? Yep. All right. We roll a 20 with this. Ooh. Extra 2D. Oh, wow. Good thing I didn't get that natural 20 on the other side. So, you will take that. You take seven points of slashing damage as the axe comes down and strikes across your chest. And then he raises it again and swings. Does a ten hit? Yep. All right. Let's see. The point you can see with... Okay, you can use it. So... The bomb explodes on point of impact, destroying the bomb. The rest of the flames reduce the high-pitched scream, which... When the bone explodes, each creature within a five foot must make a dexterity save. Oh. Jack then cackles and looks over to you two. And you see in his hand, and I will reveal the picture once again for the audience. Excuse me. In his hand, you see this. A bomb 
<laughs> and he tosses it, landing in between you two on impact. I need both Zypher and Yarick to make me a dexterity saving throw. 14 and 16. Perfect. All right. Um, a target blah 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 or half as much damage on a successful one okay as you guys dodge as well as you can you take half of this you take four points of fire damage as you guys jump out of the way and anything else to that effect any creature that fails by a five or more is oh no nothing and when the bomb explodes, you hear this high-pitched scream come from the bomb. And with that, it now... Let me see. Can... Jack still has 10 feet of movement. Go ahead and make an attack of opportunity. Okay. And 11, unfortunately, misses. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I think you're all within 60 feet of him. He's going to bonus action. Menacing laugh. <laughs> and I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. Oof. Oof. Holy shit, all three of you fail. You become okay. frightened of Jack. A Funny. Fright <laughs> it doesn't happen for me anyway. Oh, really? How so? Uh, let's. If you're talking about your former uh, dread, doesn't it go down after a long rest? You get a short rest. Oh, mm -hmm. short rest. Hang on. I don't know. Something is giving me immunity to really? fighting status. It should say what? It says one of your Warlock. Equipment? Warlock? Really? Form of... Well, it says Form of Dread. Let's see. On. So when I click Immunities, it pops it out. So, like, Magical Sleep is Trance. Frightened is Form of Dread. So it's in Form of Dread. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm frightened. Though. Ah... How long does your form of dread last? Uh, One minute. Yeah. 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 Unfortunate, but... So you guys, as of right now, are frightened. And for the, the kitties at home, what does the frightened status mean? Well, frightened status. A frightened creature has disadvantage on ability to checks and attack rolls while the source of fear is within line of sight. The creature cannot willingly move close to the source of fear. But you guys can repeat the saving throw at the, at the end, end of, of the start. at the end of your turn. At the end of each of your turns, and then once successfully ending it, the creature will become immune to the menacing laugh. So, after that, he smiles and just laughs, and with that. It is now Zypher's turn. Okay, so if I use Form of Dread now, will that cancel out Frightened? It um, only says you're immune to Frightened, but it doesn't say I can't trigger it right. when I'm... Alright, I'm double-checking. Okay, so someone asked, what if you were frightened before you activate it? Formula says, does that 
Does that end the condition or suspend it like Berserker Barbarian? Pretty sure you're frightened if you can't activate abilities. All you can do is a run from the... You don't run from the source, you do not run, but other than that, disadvantage on checks, blah, blah, blah. Correct. You can otherwise do anything you would do normally, including activate your form of dread and canceling your frightened status. Okay, you can. I then will save. Let's, let's do that, and he'll just say, I'm not done yet. And he'll use his final stack of, or not stack, whatever the form of his dread. Final use of form of dread once again taking on the form of this spectral reaper um can i say for flavor purposes or after you say that you and this is only flavor you stab the rapier into the ground almost and causing the shadows to coalesce from the tip out and form around you into your reaper form i mean this guy isn't the knight he's not summoning a guard i'm sure I'm we can do that <laughs> it's kind of like you know what i'm i'm not through kind of a bullshittery uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm going for here. Um, what is thirty feet? Why is it going from the corner? I don't know. I think you have it on snap to corner. That's weird. There you okay, go. Okay, there we go. How do you? Oh, right, right click. No. Right click. There you go. Okay. Um, okay. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to. So as he so as he does that, he stabs his rapier into the ground. He says, "I'm not finished yet." He transforms into this spectral reaper, um, and he takes the rapier out. And as dark energy coalesces around him, he teleports using his fancy schmancy little uh mm -hmm. where the fuck is it blessing of the raven queen mm. magically teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space you can see mm -hmm. uh can he get here nor directly north of the guy so right here well i think no. you said 30 right feet here. was this one. I mean... I mean... Was, you were right here. here. I mean... Because again, it's a You know what? Yeah, you can. You a... can get north. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because it is a teleport. So, okay. but... Yeah. Distance-wise. Uh, so he'll do that. And, you know, once again, being the asshole, arrogant piece of mm -hmm. shit that uh, he apparently is now... Mm -hmm. Um... He's going to mock him. Mm. He's like, you thought that, you thought you can fight me, me, and he will stab him. Ooh, with a seventeen. Does a seventeen hit Jack? By the way, what languages do you speak? Just oh wondering. wait, hold up. I'm sorry. I take it back. He can't actually teleport because Form of Dread was a bonus action. Oh, well, Raven Queen then... is also a bonus action. Fuck. Well, you gonna run over it here for thirty feet instead? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll say that. So you run over here. By the way, what languages do you speak? Uh, I speak Abyssal, Common, Infernal, and yeah. Okay. So Tim Piercing that much HP. Let me look at Jack's sheet real quick. You hear him cackle and in Abyssal. This is one of the only times it seems like he's speaking. <laughs> I'm not through with you yet. Funny little reaper. with that anything else no he will just sort of <clears throat> smile smugly and stand his ground rapier in hand pointed at the guy's face 
Okay. Readying for an attack, even though he, by D and D law, can't actually counter an attack right now. You well, flavor purposes, it can like a battle. Um, yeah, he will take flavor purposes. As you but... end your turn, he takes a legendary action, and it's ah, going to well. swing his vicious battle axe at you. Okay. Does a seventeen hit? It does. All right, he does one d eight. Plus three damage. As he swings down, you take seven points of damage from his axe. Now, as the ash axe slashes into me, he will like take the hit and then raise his free hand up at him. Because my bonus and my action may be gone, but I still have a reaction and I short rested, so hellish rebuke, motherfucker. <laughs> Go for it. Hellish rebuke. He will make a that dexterity. Okay, well, dexterity that's saving awesome. throw. With a ten. A seven damage? Six. Oh wait, hold up. I uh, I use form of dread. I'm supposed to roll for hit to die. Temporary hit points. Oh yeah. Uh wait. But you have three temporary hit points left. Yes. No, I, I didn't. I, I used that up already on the last one. Oh. I took a hit somewhere, so I have no temp hit points. I just have straight HP. Yeah, because, because damage, of the bomb. Because of the bomb. I took four damage from the bomb, but now using it, Form of Dread, I should have rolled for the temp HP again uh, mm -hmm. when I transformed, which I didn't do. So that's actually. Yeah, you're down I don't know to. Why it's not calculating it? Because on my sheet it says you gain temp HP equal to one d10 plus one. So you have to add. Okay, one d10 plus one. But it's not so that's adding 11. that. Yeah, it's not adding that for some reason. That's fine. But, but put it on your it sheet. It is eleven. So and then, then I take eight damage. Seven. Seven damage. So I got four temp HP left. Yes. And he needs the deck save. Yes, which he fails, and he takes six. A six. Six points of damage. Okay. Give me a second. Stupid fucking... Uh... Okay, he is still there and he just <laughs> anything else nope that's it i am definitely out of actions at this point <laughs> yeah yarik <laughs> literally you, everything now you are up and you are frightened Cool, so pretty much as they don't have any range attacks, he just spends the round shaking his head, trying to get out of the fright and get their shingle. Do I roll? Uh, roll me a wisdom save. And here we go to fail. Oh, cool. Hey, you pass you as you shake off this fear. And you're like, no, we have to do it. We have to win. Granny's technically counting on you. I'll end with, uh, can I still use my bonus action right now or not? It would be the end of your turn, unfortunately, if, we're, if you're okay. doing the save. Uh, then, uh, then actually, since I, since it's not, I forgot, you guys said we can't use abilities or we can? You can. You just can't willingly okay. move towards, it's the regular okay, frightening cool. condition. Yeah, so yeah, so I'm just, uh, I'm activating the giant's form as I'm shaking off the fear. Okay. Bonus action, do that, and boom. Cool. Alright. As your turn ends and you end your fear, it is now frightened Gecko's turn. But actually, okay. before Gecko starts, Jack is going to use a legendary action to mad dash away using his full movement and not take an attack of opportunity due to that. What the fuck? Yep. Alright. 
Oh, I'm using full might of this motherfucker. All right, go ahead, Jeff. Well, that's annoying. Shit. Okay, well, that changed what I was about to do. Right. Oh, let's see. If you attack him, you do have disadvantage due to him being within right. line. Yeah, of but I'm currently holding my glaive, which means I will have to drop it and pick it up, fire, drop it, and him dashing. So I'm just not going to bother with that. Mm -hmm. Um, I will. For bonus action, activate my Crimson Right. We'll just go ahead and get that clean. All right, I'll damage. The D4 damage. Two. Okay. So that's at least activated. And then I'll go ahead and make my uh, Wisdom save. Go for it. Play one. You are all are now immune to the fear and frightened. So go ahead and take the frightened status off if you have it turned on on your sheets. All right, with that, it is now Jack's turn. Shadow, roll me a d6. Okay, cool. He got that. Jack smiles and <laughs> you see another bomb come out and he throws it, landing at the 50 foot mark and it explodes. I need dexterity saving throws from both. Uh, oh. oh, that's the. Oh. I am not making these saves at all. Oh. How much damage? Well, first, let me roll that. Okay. You're not gonna. Thirty-six take... damage. Okay. No, 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 no. That was that was severity. That was severity. Three d three d six. Correct, Jack. Am I not mistaken? On your bomb. Yes. So, ooh, this is gonna suck for you, Jeff. You, when you take the three d six fire damage, you uh, also, uh, let's see, fails the. Ooh, yeah, you are within five or more. Yeah, with a nat one, you will be deafened until the end of you, uh, your next turn. So you will have the deafened condition. So Jeff, you take 10 fire damage as the screaming bomb explodes and the fire consumes you a little bit. Shadow, uh, Zypher jumps just in time and covers his ears as you still take five points of fire damage. Okay, that kills temp HP. I take minus one on my actual HP, and okay. All right, Jack runs over. Oh, he comes back. He hasn't done his regular movement. Jeez. Okay. Hi. All right, hold on. Okay. End of another creature's turn. Okay, just wanted to make sure. He will then run up to you Taking the battle axe in two hands, swing. Okay, 
Why did that not even roll? Okay. What the hell? Why does... One... What? Is it not showing? I have not gotten any new rolls from you. Yeah, I don't think they're on my side. That's weird. Why is that... What? Okay, really quick. I'm going to click one-handed. Why is it... You broke it. Why is it going to GM all of a sudden? When it... What? Okay. Two seconds, sorry. I gotta refresh the page. Sorry. That's not doing what I wanted it to do. Okay. Bring up that. Bring up Jack. One more time. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, now all of a sudden sudden it's going to GM. Why? Okay. Yeah, because it was showing before that, right? Yeah. Well, that's weird. It's saying 2 GM on all of the things, but... Yeah, I'm not even seeing it on your, uh, on your screen. Okay, that's weird. I guess every other enemy except the boss shows up. Nice. Thanks. Thanks, Roll20! Okay. Um... Shadow, I was saying it was you getting attacked, correct? Okay, two-handed. Does it... Okay, that finally showed up, but... Okay. I ain't seeing anything. Okay. Yeah. No, it's showing up on my end. There's a 20 hit. Yep. Since he's two-handing it, he's going to roll a 1d8. Plus. Three. Instead of... No. A 1d10. 1d10. I'm sorry. Bro! What? Two-handed, you get more damage. For a measly four uh, damage from his axe, but he's smiling and cackling at you. Okay, that could be a, could have been a lot worse. Mm-hmm. Or... And that was one swing. Oh my god! You really you want it? us to die this time, don't you? No, I don't. But I'm it's actually the giving. Season. I'm giving you a fright. Does a seventeen hit? Yep. All right. He slashes again into you, and you take six points of slashing damage. And he just... <laughs> and with that, it is now your turn. Okay. Well... She's dead. Um... Alright, I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to, because I need these guys to, like, close in on him, and I don't want him retreating mm. like he's been doing. So mm. I'm going to use bonus action, uh, Blessing of Raven Queen, Teleport. Okay. okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. And then I am going to action with my free hand. I will just aim towards him. And as dark energy coalesces into my hand, I will fire a beam of Eldritch Blast at the mother. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen will definitely hit for six force damage. And because this guy is a fucking arrogant dumbass, he will say, I dare you to try that again. 
Okay. Does that end your turn? Yep, that's bonus action and action. And I'm assuming, well, in theory, the bonus action doesn't use my movement, but no, nah, I think he'll stay there. Well, he will use a legendary action at the end of his oh, at the end of God. your turn. <laughs> and he's going to use Mad Dash, which he'll run by you and take no attack of opportunity. <laughs> Jack moves up to his speed without provoking attacks of opportunity. Yeah, but can't. But isn't he not supposed to be able to use that many legendary actions so often? It re it resets. He gets a oh, set amount. God. But okay. so legendary actions, you can take up to three legendary actions depending on how much it costs. Choosing from the options below, only one option can be used at a time. At the end of another creature's turn. He regains these spent legendary actions at the start of its turn. Jesus Christ. Okay. If only three of us, that means he gets them back every turn. Every not enough freaking, to, yeah. Which is too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yarick, it's your turn. Finally moving. I'm going to move to here, but that's still turn. As he goes there, he uh, gets his weapon ready and he activates some of his Dragonic Bloodline to light <coughs> the weapon on fire. Mm. Uh, it's I'm using the feet, Gift of the Chromatic Dragon that just adds an extra D4 of a damage type that I want Damn. for every attack. Damn. And it lasts for a minute. So, and I'm just going to ready my action. If it comes close to me, I can attack it. All right. With that, That's my turn. it is now <sighs> Gecko. It's it's your turn. We're back at the top of the order. What? Can't hear you. Right. Yeah, that could be a problem. Jeff, it is your turn. No, I meant in character. Ah. He can't hear you. Oh, I know. I'm. That's why I said Jeff. It's your turn. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. But he's deaf, and so he can't hear anything. <laughs> You just hear that? Oh. He's just standing there. All of a sudden, he sees like this big guy, and we're like, "Like, whoa! Where did he come from?" Okay. He's going ashes. This is a real boss fight. Let's go. I have faith in you guys, but... Yeah, but you keep running and dashing away, so you're just prolonging the fight. And that's... that's... That guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's it for me. Okay. You are not deafened anymore. For now. It is now probably... Jack's turn. We'll probably die next round anyway, so it doesn't matter. Mm. I'm pretty sure we're all, like, dead within like yeah. three rounds mm. it's the holiday season Back I mean it's it's one thing kill. for him to be he able to sacrifice move, us to the end of the but... yeah for us to like not even get opportunity attacks like we just aren't getting any hits off yeah him. with him basically resetting his legendary actions every turn we're just not going to be able to do any damage to him Let's see. You do realize there's only all three stories. of us, right? Not all stories end in a heroic uh, victory. This would be yep. also a sad loss. Again, you see a pumpkin bomb in his hand. And he cackles. And he throws it in between the two of you. Ge uh, Gecko and uh, Zypher. Deck what saves. Failed this as always. What yep. the f- I'm just failing these say, so I think this is the game telling me I need to die. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I'm deafened, but probably that probably be the worst, the least of the problems. 
Okay. Zypher. Do I really need to roll? I mean, wait, did you make a- yeah, yes? Because if you save, you take half. Where is it? Oh! You gain resistance did, to all- I did teleport. True. But you still have to make the, the save, so... If you make the save, it would... So you're already taking half, but then you cut that in half. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, you make the save, all right. So, you would have taken six, Zypher, but then you take three. Because of that. Uh, that's unfortunate. And... Gecko, you take 12, and you are deafened again. God damn it. Jack's going to run over between you two. Cackling. He will one hand swing. Vicious battle axe. A gecko. Gecko? Yeah. Does a natural 20 hit? Me a normal 20? No. No. I'm going to use my uh, ability mm -hmm. to redirect the attack to myself. Ooh! Okay! So... so I use the Cloud Rune ability so I get hit. Alright, so what's going to happen is you're going to take... Ooh, this is going to be fun. Um, first off, you're going to take 1d- 2d8 plus 3 on top of it. Also, because it got a natural 20, you take an extra 2d6. So, 2d6. Roll. All right, so you take 18 points of damage, Yarik. Uh, as let's flavor it this way, um, Gecko, you see the axe coming down towards you, in almost like a fashion in the picture where it just seems large and is going to do so much damage, and all of a sudden. As the swipe goes th through, you look and you see you don't have any damage, but there is a cloud in front of you. Yarik, the cloud then in front of you, you feel the axe just go slicing through your chest very hard. Jesus. Okay. No one dies today, hopefully. <laughs> the o the other swing is going to be at Shadow's character. Because that's what I already decided in my head. At the start of the swings. Shadow! Does Zypher get hit with a 21? Yep. Alright. So, 1d8 plus 3. And you take half of this damage. Because you're... Mm -hmm. Until the start of my next turn. Yes, sir. So, you take half of five, which would be two. We round okay. down. And with that, that's the end of Jack's turn. Oh, is I... he actually staying in place now? Well, you can't legendary action after his turn. It's on another creature's turn. So it's pretty much I get one shot at having advantage, and he'll run away after this turn. Lovely. All right. Well, because he's an arrogant asshole, he's going <laughs> to once again 
even though this makes no sense whatsoever. But he's going to use his uh, teleport again, blessing mm. the Raven Queen, and get two of those. So this mm. is the last one. Okay. Um, he'll teleport right there, and sort of a uh, blinking hidden strike out within the darkness. He will launch his rapier attack with advantage, right? Yep, go for it. That's a natural 20. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't really do anything, but... That's 29 points As of damage. the dark energy coalesces around his rapier and it strikes Jack, he's going to use his uh, form of dread for okay. it to have to make a wisdom saving throw or it'll be frightened, but I'm betting this guy is immune to frightened anyway, but... Let me double check his sheet. Try it anyway, because it's just a free... Part of his. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. As you try to push your form of dread, and you think it's going to work, back in that abyssal. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> well, 25 damage. I can't really do much more than that. 25? Twenty five yeah, sure. Either way. Okay. I can't do shit because that was my bonus action. But I threw everything I could at that. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. As the turn ends and he d y you know what? Jack turns with his legendary action. Cackles in your face and swings his axe. Damn. Does an eight hit. Eight? Yep. No. As he swings, he swings into the shadowy mist, as we'll say. And he'll just smile knowing that he almost had you. Yarick, you're up. Okay, hopefully this all works. Yarick lumbers forward, heaves his mole, and attacks... Where is my attack? There. Of course I roll low. Uh, seven, yes, unfortunately misses. I will go ahead and use action surge. To attack again. Alright, go and... for it. A 22 will definitely hit. Awesome! At the same time that he hits, he's activating... Uh, his fire rune, so he's going to take an extra 2d6 damage. Okay. So, um, and then he needs to make a strength save of 12. Okay, so roll out your initial damage. So that would be yeah. your maul plus so giant plus dragon. Plus the d4. Uh, so there's that. Uh, there's the giant one. And then the fire damage for that. Okay. And then 2d6 for the fire shackles. Okay. And then, then then he makes a save of DC 12. Strength okay. save. So, give me two seconds here as I do calculations real quick. Okay. Under four damage, is he? Okay, he's at that much. Okay, and then you said a strength save, huh? Yeah, DC 12. 
you see your fire shackles try to clamp his arms. And you see Jack just maniacally... <laughs> and break them! Break a shot! And, uh... I believe... Oh yeah, I'll do bonus action to... Do the second win. So. Okay, second win. Oh, my god. And at the end of yeah. your turn... He will make that mad dash. Legendary action. Jeff, you're up. Okay, let's see. Move away from me, he might throw another bomb. <laughs> So great. Oh, uh, ah, screw! I'm gonna die anyways. Okay, I'm going to invoke a blood curse on him. Oh. I'm going to amplify it, so I will take three damage. Okay. So what are you, what are you specifically doing? He's exactly in 30 feet, so he looks very dex based, so he has disadvantage on dex checks. Mm. And he will take 1d8 necrotic damage if he makes more than one attack uh, on his turn. So he only takes two damage, okay. So he only takes, okay. Because it's like amplify it, it affects creatures that. Even if they don't have blood, uh, the first full, I think it might be in there, yeah, Amplify, so, uh, DC 14 on a con to end it. Okay. At the end of the turn. Okay, and this is a magical effect, got it. Yeah. Cool. And that was just a, yeah, so that's my bonus action there. Okay, so, 20. That way, we'll go up there. So there's my 30. At least I'm in range, and let's just see if I can make an attack, and I least before I die. <laughs> wow, natural 20! And D4, because lightning damage. Hope like gave me the lowest amount of damage possible on that attack, but oh well. All right, so minus thirteen. Okay, and Jack not looking too hot now. You guys might actually beat him. Mike. With that, it is now Jack's turn. Jack will take that two points of damage. Because I know he's going to. I need a deck save again from Yarick and Zypher. Ooh, did Zypher fail? I don't think so. Let me double check. Zypher did pass. Unfortunately, Yark did not. So, and you're still in your form, correct? For, uh... Mm -hmm. oh. I teleported five feet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to be deafened, uh, Yark. And you take ten points of fire damage. You take five, but that's cut oh, in half awesome. to two. Oh, awesome. So I cut that in Oh. Cut that in half because I'm a fire thingy. Okay, so you take five and you take two. Alright. Cool. Jack. 
strolls one square forward, menacingly looking over you and swings his axe. Does a 15 hit? Yep. You take plus three. Eight points of damage. And I'm down. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> and they call me one down. <laughs> and then Zypher, he will swing at you. You're gonna obviously take half if this hits. Does a 24 hit? Yep. So, 1d8 plus 3. Wow, that's 11 points of damage cut in half to 5. He's down. What? I had 4 HP left. I didn't even know that. Holy shit. All right, let's see. He goes for the trifecta and kill everybody off. And with that, that ends that so hard. Jack's turn. To save all this. Oh, I well, mean, go ahead and make your con save. Oh, right. I get advantage on that. Oh. What's the DC? I think it was like a fourteen. Yeah. Oh, he actually didn't pass. Son of a bitch. Okay, he's still under the effect. Damn. Okay. Death save. From Zypher. You pass. At the end of your turn, do the legendary action mad dash. Over here. Okay. With that, Yarrick, you're up. Zypher, never mind, never mind. I was gonna say, there's a couple of options. Brandon, are you muted? Yeah, I am. I'm just gonna be moving and attacking. So. Moving and attacking. Go for it. Sixteen hits. Oh god, everything's rolling low. Okay. And then the Twelve. other dice I need is a D six and a D four. Yarrick. Well, that's fourteen damage total. Fourteen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that's 14. I see 12 bludgeoning damage from your maul. Yeah, and then I roll a d6 for the giant thing, and then it, that gave me a 2. So that's and then a d4 for the fire, and that gave me 2. So that's 16. Oh, 16. All right. That's why I was like, 14? I think you're selling yourself short. Yarrick. Give me a second, I gotta do something over here real quick. It's calculating, calculating, and uh, uh. Yarrick, how do you want to do this? Oh, shit, really? Yeah. Nah, you're lying. How do you want to do this? Oh. Well, he I mean, he, the he afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just takes them all to his own head. 
So you take them um, all to the yeah, head? I mean, yeah, he's going to like, you know, do do that backspin and then slam it down as hard as he can. So he puts Smash Gallagher style, man. That's the so, style. As you're doing that, as the final blow is starting to be delivered, light spills I've out of had each. A Gallagher reference. Holy crap, I'm old. <laughs> Light spills out of each of its wounds. One last laugh produced, <laughs> followed by screams of pain, <laughs> and the f and fire that swallows it back into the abyss. As the cinders settle, you see a brilliant battle axe and a bag filled with pumpkins remain. Yarick. And the rest of you, even though you are down, you have vanquished Jack O' Lantern. Well done. The wind dies. Oh man, Yark is so sad to be the final survivor of this whole battle as he goes and kills his the other two. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, fuck? there's some turn nearby. You have a perfect place for the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's like, oh no, I'm the last one alive. Kill, kill. <laughs> <laughs> they do, I think, I think you have a potion and so does, what's his face, have a potion? Z Zypher? Yeah. Zypher is the last one. You, want me? you can still feed them potions. Do you do that? I'm going to assume yes. As sorry, what happened? When someone just came up to me saying he cut his finger. So you have a po. I know you have a couple potions, and you can actually. So I don't. I never grabbed any. Oh. Zypher, how many do you have? One. Okay. Really quick, do you have anything from the Raven Queen that could have brought you back up? Not at this level. Ah, okay. Not that I know of. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Uh, blessings of Raven Queen magically teleport 30 feet unoccupied space, blah, 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 blah. Uh, form of Where? thread, nothing yeah. there. Whales in the grave, yeah. no. Whispers of the dead, no. Nope. Okay. Yarg, do you take out the potion and hey. feed it to uh, blah, 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 Zephyr? Zephyr? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, do you take out Zypher's potion from his bag and feed it to him? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> As you do, uh, uh, 2D, what is it, 2D4 plus 2? Roll that potion. Welcome back to the world of the living. We vanquished this. That was far more difficult than I expected. Well done. Zypher, as you get up after saying that, you still see uh... Gecko down. Oh, uh, well, I got shit. You could um, run, run him. I could try and stabilize him. Boy. There you go. There you go. That's about all I can do. What is it? Medicine? Yes. Well, I guess I killed him. No. Yeah, it's like last session where I tried to do medicine check on uh, <laughs> on my fellow lizard guy, and I didn't know Jack squat about him. <laughs> but you knew how to do it better on an elf, uh, you know, basic or on a uh, witch, uh, on a shigdar. Yeah, no, on a human. That's right. Um, go ahead and roll with one more time with advantage because of the Raven Queen. I will grant that to you. Okay, this is just straight up one more roll. Yes, sir. <laughs> all my okay. uh, all my good rolls were uh, just, on my dagger. There's that as the uh, three failures. No, no. 
Granny, and I'm not going to bring her token out. We will just use uh, imagination. Granny comes sobbling over. Well done, well done, well done. Seems as though the creature has been defeated. The air feels different here. I saw from the outside the air, the sky seemed different. The clouds are starting to break. Oh dear, oh dear. And she brings over a potion and does a potion for you. So 2d4 plus 2. You gain 7 HP back. You are in the land of the living, sir. Ugh. What happened? What did I miss? Yorick managed to vanquish the enemy. Yay. Ugh. And he falls back to the ground. <laughs> Surprised any of you didn't use your other potion. Looks oh, to... Yeah, no grow. That's okay. Seems as though uh, that may come in handy later. As reward, I will make a delicious pumpkin pie. Cypher will just glare at her and be <laughs> like, I'll admit I misjudged you and that you're actually keeping us alive, but you mentioned the word pumpkin to me one more time. Things are going to get destroyed, and you're not going to like it. Oh, dearie, dearie, it's... All right. Stay for dinner. It's the least I can do. We're having children. Huh? What? What? Oh, God, no. What? <laughs> Hansel and Gretel, bruh. No! Oh, God! <laughs> no! An infection! Oh, God, no. And as you guys... You wonder why Zypher was so freaking sus of this girl. Yes, but as you guys have dinner, it's a normal dinner. Are you sure? Go ahead and Zypher's roll. Gonna check. Go ahead and roll insight. Make sure that Investigation, shame. insight, whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Zypher is apparently still too dead to really notice. <laughs> but he is definitely still sussing her. Investigation of 11. There are no children involved. Insight, there are no children involved. Investigation of 4, there is no children oh. involved. The DC was 1. Human or something else? Oh my god. Big. Gotta be specific. No humans were hurt in the making of this dinner. So, so there were non human children? children in this. Mm. No humanoid any race so that isn't normal food in this. If it's normal food for normal I mean, some human holders, right? Oh my god, it is. Anyways, moving forward, uh, there you guys, sons eat... and daughters of abyssal chickens. In no, this meal? no, god damn it! As you guys have this meal and a good night's rest in the morning, you three wake up into your own original realm, though. You still have the potion on you. From gro the potion of growth. And this is how we end tonight's one shot. Yay. Whoo! Well. Jesus Christ. You went easy on us at the end there, didn't you? Did no. we really do enough damage to kill him legitimately? Yes, I maxed out his HP. Plus then it said, if you want to make it harder, add five more HP for each character. Oh my god. So he had 115 health. Did we actually do that yeah. much damage? That was good that I dumped that money resources in that in the one, those two hit, or the one hit. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you did the exact amount of damage. I was hoping for all ones from you. <laughs> Yarik, how much HP did you have left? Uh, I'm not. I'm not close to my character sheet right now, and I think I have like eleven or fourteen. I just refreshed your page. You had fourteen right. HP left. That's pretty good. Wow. You guys. I realized well after the fact I probably would have had more if I remembered about the fire resistance that he has. Because those bombs are fire. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. But, you know, we all make mistakes at some point. But, you know, we recover in the end. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. How did it feel for facing a, a kind of the gloves are off boss? <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. We will try to return to uh, Tomb of Annihilation in two weeks, uh, starting in November. Um, I will say so. Jack's character sheet. He had multi attack, but in their little thing, they said, You want to increase his threat? Allow Jack to perform the Cackle Bomb every turn and two melee attacks. Because the Cackle Bomb was a, uh... A legendary reaction? No, an actual recharge attack. The fuck? Yeah, so on a, on a 5 or a 6, he would have got it back. Honestly, so the cackle bomb to me wasn't that big of an issue. It's only really an issue if like everybody's grouped together. That's all. I was like, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> See, but I took advantage of you guys being clustered together, which was the point I was trying to use. Because Jack is very tactical, apparently, and he did survive by fighting alone and using his legendary action um, to move away from people. The mad dash. And you gain more coverage away from melee combatants and people who dare to stand next to him will face his axe. As they say. God, I wish I had $700 to burn right now. Oh, jeez. Sir, you got four kids. Think about that. And no, it's just they have that um, wormling, life size wormling foam dragon. Oh, my God. That you can buy. Jeez. Yeah, but it's, it's like legitimate size of what a wormling would be. And I'm like, oh. Whoa. I know I can probably 3D print something like that, but like, uh, damn. Oh uh, well, Vertiki said, "Nice game, thank you, Vertiki." I hope you enjoyed hey, that Vert. second half. Hi, Vert. Ariana, also, I'm That's glad you were nice. here to check this out too. So, oh yeah, shout out Vertiki. Uh, Vertiki definitely is a wonderful artist, by the way. Um, Vertiki drew the. Uh, Drowning dragon that you see flash before you when Shadow talks. Um, Thanks. <laughs> I made sure to get explicit permission from Vertiki to allow to be allowed to use that, and it's been fun every time when Shadow streams. I always get a reminder he is drowning. And then oh, to, to Zeknox. The wonderful Zeknox, I know he is not here, but Zeknox is the guy that drew my Stardust Dragon Knight PNG tuber that you see used all the time, and also the emotes I have. So, yeah, make sure to uh, see Zeknox on Vertiki streams every so often. They'll collab art, you know, every so often, but they also do a lot of video games together as well. Good so. Group of people. Very follow good. them! Yeah, definitely give them a follow. And also give Shadow Acheron a follow. And My good in-life friend and also uh, good streaming friend. So, he is a uh, JRPG variety streamer. And, you know... Better believe it, Persona 5 in November! Let's go! <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> nah, no worries. And then... To everybody in chat, thank you for being here. Thank you for enjoying the show today. And in two weeks, we will come back, have some fun. And uh, hopefully, this week, 
maybe stream because I've got a few days off. We'll see. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see where everything's at. I got a few days off. Wait. May I suggest someone to raid? Sure. What was that, Brandon? Big shout out to anyone who's willing to put up with me having children uh, and possibly ruin the atmosphere when they throw a tantrum and I forget to mute. <laughs> dude, we've been dealing it with it since day one that I put you back into D and D with me, dude. It's it's life. I'm doing my best. It's fine. I'm dude. doing my best. It's fine, dude. I stop, stop yelling at me, Zach. Stop it. I love you, man. Who are we raiding to, Thanks sir? Again. Someone who apparently forgot it's their affiliate anniversary today. Oh. Is it... Shout out to the one and only Dodo Cat. I was about to say Dodo, huh? We gonna go raid the Dodo? The Dodo Cat? she allegedly retires from Dead by Daylight because she's about to pee a hundred Ada, and I don't know if she's actually serious about retiring. But it's her... Ugh. Stream anniversary. Anniversary, and uh, we need to All definitely right. get well, our. Uh... To everyone that's going to raid, definitely give a good raid message. Say hi, and here we go. Three, two, one, raid out. Good night.